trying to get her at her office and just keep getting that machine. Uh, yeah, actually, I heard from her earlier. Uh, well, she called to say she really didn't think she'd be able to make it to Thanksgiving dinner here. Trauma Center needs these things. <laughs> Kayla, there's nothing here that couldn't have waited till tomorrow. That's true, but I just think it's better for me to do something constructive here today. As opposed to being with your family and being uncomfortable. Look, Kayla, you should be with your family. I mean, after all, this is a holiday, right? Yeah, I'm just not ready to deal with it yet. Too much has happened. Uh, ah, yeah. yes. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Has that butcher ever figured out where our turkey was delivered? It seems that some people named Hartman got two 24-pound turkeys. And we didn't get any. What are we going to do? Well, I suppose I'll get something out of the freezer. I've got a casserole of leftover beef stew in there. I've got that. I, I have my nice dressing. Well, I, I mean, I hope the turkey gets here in time, Grandma. In time? Darling, you don't expect me to cook a 24-pound turkey now. I... I could cry. Can you imagine Thanksgiving without a turkey? Can you imagine Thanksgiving without Jack? Listen, I've got an emergency call. We may as well make a turkey run to Salem. Or some family by the name of Horton is going to have a meatless Thanksgiving. Now, who's going to ride to the rescue? Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. 